Welcome to another training session here for Zero. Today we are going to be looking at the CIS. Now, for those of you in the know, you will know that Zero is about to release a CIS module later in this year, um, hopefully by summer. But in the interim, how do you deal with CIS? Well, there's two sides of CIS we need to consider. The type where you are the contractor, i.e. you have subcontractors, and the type where you are the subcontractor reporting to a contractor. Now, the first one we're going to consider is when you are a subcontractor working for a larger contractor. In this instance, the larger contractor will withhold a percentage, and this can vary um, up to 30% from you for CIS, and you need to record that accurately within your accounts in order to make your bank reconcile. So the first thing you need to do is go to settings and chart of accounts. So what we're going to do is set up a new chart of accounts. Now this will be within the debtors section because it will be money that's effectively owed to you, albeit you won't actually receive that until your tax is due. Um, and we're going to give it account code 732 in our instance. Now, it doesn't matter um, which code you use. Uh, if you just scroll down to the debtors section, um, you can actually use any one of the debtors from 600 or 700. Um, we'll use 732 just for this example. So you click on add account. Account type will be current assets. Account code 732. The name we're going to give it is Other Debtors CIS Suffered. You could say CIS withheld, but suffered is a terminology we use. Leave your VAT normal, leave each of these as they are, and click Save. So that's the side you need to worry about there. Now, obviously, this side is the side that's linked to sales invoices. So when you're actually raising a sales invoice, and we'll raise one just to um, ABC construction. Okay, so you'd have the description of work carried out, you know, your big long description, I'm um, saying what you've done, a thousand pounds sales. You then put one a line for CIS suffered or withheld one and this is where you put your percentage so if you're 20% you can knock off 20% etc so we will put negative 200 so we're going to knock off 20% of the amount and we're going to put this to the CIS code. So that means that your sales are still showing at the full amount um, but you are knocking off for £200, so when you come to do your bank reconciliation and you receive £800, you can reconcile it easily. Then click Approve. Now that you've approved your invoice, everything is done from this perspective. You will see if you go to Reports and Balance Sheet, scroll down, you can now see that you have £200 sat as CIS suffered i.e. reclaimable when you set offset it against your tax or your PAYE. Next, we need to move on to the other way around. So if you are a contractor employing subcontractors, now obviously you need to withhold money from them, albeit 20%, 30%, or maybe nothing if they're gross registered, but usually 20 or 30%. So we're going to work in a very similar way. So if we go to settings, chart of accounts, we're now going to add a liability or creditors account. So if we go to add account, current liability. Now we're going to use the code 846, but you can use any 800 code that you've got spare. We'll call it other creditors. And we'll put CIS withheld from subbies. Leave everything else the same and click save. Again, works in a very similar way. If you go to accounts and purchases, and then you've got your new button, 
and if we put x, y, z contractors, and they're the subcontractors that are working for you, so they will bill you for work done, maybe a thousand pound again, and that can go into purchases. And then you put CIS with Howd, negative 200, put it into the 846 code, and approve. And that's again done. So if we now go to reports and balance sheet, we can see that you've now got your £200 CIS suffered. And you've got your £200 CIS withheld from subbies just down here. Now, obviously, if you need to not work out the exact amount of CIS that's due, you would deduct one from the other. So you would say, what's been withheld from me? £200. What's been withheld from subcontractors, i.e. what do I owe to HMRC? £200. Well, the net effect is zero. If it had been £20,000 up here and £1,000 down here, then the net effect would be £19,000 due to you. If it was the other way around, where it said £1,000 up here and £20,000 down here, then it would be a net effect of £19,000 owed to HMRC. Now, hopefully you found that session useful. It's a little bit um, complex, and as I say, Zero will be releasing a CIS bolt-on really soon. We've heard possibly as early as May, um, but this is a workaround that will last you until then. If you've got any questions, please do contact us. The telephone number is 0330-330-7777, um, or just visit www.7accounts.com.